I'll now be taking questions from the press. Hey, 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 how do you pay hey, my hey, question hey, answer? Hey, pick me, man. Down here. Hey. Right, right there. Hey, man, listen. Listen, man. I, I ain't gonna lie, man. Y your team just got washed out there. I mean, the Devil Rays, your old team, uh, just beat the brakes off you and ran you off your own field. Uh, how does that feel, man? Uh, doesn't does not feel does not feel great. But you know, uh, every single every single game is an opportunity to learn new things, and uh, we'll just have to take lessons from this game and move forward. Okay, but like you, you got to be real here with with me, coach. I mean, y your team is straight. Booty cheeks, like it's just hey, 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 hey listen, bad okay. Out there. Uh, My players are all between the age of ten and twelve. So would y'all please refrain from using terms to describe them, such as booty cheeks? Thank you. Uh, uh, oh, he getting feisty now. Oh, I, I see how it is. <laughs> Down here. Howdy, I got some questions about uh, the team fielding and, and defense right now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. There are two sort of glaring bad spots in your defense right now. One uh, is your starting second baseman in this game, uh, Dana Sakula. I mean, with all due respect for your coaching, sir, I I've seen bowls of stale hot dog water with better baseball IQ than Miss Dana. And don't no, even no, get me started on that Cameron Haynes fellow. No, 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 no. Listen, if y'all keep insulting my players, I'm going to walk out of here, all right? Okay? Everyone understand? Uh, my, my apologies, boss. Down here. Hi there, there was a noticeable change at pitcher today. Claire Nelson was the starting pitcher, yeah. uh, and she gave up five runs, including one home run today. Mm -hmm. Now, Thor Herring, your former starting pitcher, uh, still leads the league in strikeouts after this game. Yep. Can we expect Claire Nelson to still be starting pitcher next week? Yeah, as far as pitching goes, I mean, that's just going to be week to week. Um, I don't you know, want to make comparisons too early because Claire Nelson has had much less action uh, so far this season than Thor. Um, but yeah, moving on, it's going to be a week-to-week -week thing. We'll have to see. Hi there, Coach. Word around the league after this 0-4 start for your team is that people are really starting to say that last season was a fluke in that you really are not that great of a manager. Uh, you were carried by talent and that the play of the monsters at this moment is indicative of that. What is your response to the naysayers? All I got to say is I think all the managers around the league should look at their roster and look at mine, look at the situation that I have been placed in by the league, and they should really take a look at themselves and think about what they would do if they were in my shoes. Yeah. That be all? We're done? All right. Thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Backyard Baseball 2003 Worst Possible Team Season Playthrough. It is week five. We are 0 and 4. <sighs> Welcome back to the slow form of torture known as the Mighty Monsters. Last week, we got dropped by my old team, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. They still have all their old players. They beat us 12 nothing. It was exactly how you would have expected it to go. They beat us down and put us in our place, showing that we really have no hope of hanging with the big boys. Does that mean that we still can't win a game? No, I still think we have a few more chances, but against a team that good, there's just no way. This week, we are playing the Wombats, and while not as good as the Devil Rays, they've still got some fantastic players. At third base, they've got Sammy Sosa, who, in my opinion, is probably the most OP pro player in the game. I'm a big fan of Ken Griffey Jr. myself. I'm a Ken Griffey stan. There's, of course, Randy Johnson, who's the best pitcher in the game. But Sammy Sosa, he can hit. He can rake the ball. He's got good speed. He's got a cannon for an arm. He's even a decent pitcher. Sammy Sosa, probably the best pro in the game. Then on the mound, they've got Luann Louis. Not the best hitter, but she is a nuisance because of that speed. She's also a really solid pitcher. They've got Star Moonbeam at catcher. Not a great hitter. 10 out of 10 speed, though. Their only weakness this week is Susan Gore. She is an Ichiro clone. She's got all the same stats as Ichiro, but thankfully, she has a massive decrease this week. She goes from 8 batting to 4, 10 running down to 7, and 10 fielding down to 7. So, 
she's not as big of a threat as she would have been but just because she's not feeling well does not mean that this team is that much weaker this is still an excellent team i have made some more adjustments to our lineup we're still trying to figure out what the heck to do with this team on defense i am once again starting claire nelson at pitcher but i only plan on using her in maybe the first or second innings she's just going to be a very very brief starter then we're going to bring thor in i'm having thor start at second base we'll see what he can do he's got a great arm in the field as y'all know by this point so we're going to see what he can do i have moved quentin driver to first base ivan king is now in right field cameron haynes is now our shortstop heidi thurman still hanging out there at third base and we have moved victoria Schamberg to left field so we're gonna see how this goes we're gonna jump into this game against the wombats and man let's just uh, hope for the best game number five star moonbeam bunts and that is not gonna oof. man if that had been fair she's got the speed to maybe even get to second just on that and there is a grounder can heidi get there in time wow that was right on the line she's gonna go for that though and we're gonna get her out she had a single that was actually a very well placed grounder she got greedy went for second first out Luann Louis, another very weak but very fast batter, and she's going to get there in time. That's really how to beat us. You don't even need to hit it very deep. Just infield hits. We're not fast enough to get them. Sosa batting just 200 on the year. That is... That's the most surprising thing I've seen all day. Normally, I do not like to walk batters, but I really have no reservations about walking Sammy Sosa. I want nothing. Look at that. Just... Oh my gosh. I was asking for it. Dana. Oh, that was, ugh, that was catchable by Dana. She's got no awareness. What? This is going to be a run. This is going to be a run. What on earth was that? Just threw it into the ground. We are already down 1-0. Sosa gets all the way to third base. Looking a lot like that game against the A's. Tom Glad... Thor had an angle on the ball and just stood there. He just stopped and watched the ball roll by him. Dude... I don't even know. I don't even have any commentary left for you guys. This is just... Just nightmares beyond my comprehension is what's going on. Look at look how horrible Claire's vision is. Oh my gosh, double play. Please. Whew. Two outs. Nearly had a double play. Man. You know, it's interesting because I looked at Claire's stats, like the hidden stats on the, uh, the master spreadsheet... Claire supposedly has better stamina than Thor Herring. I don't believe that for a second. Look how quickly she got tired. Oh my gosh, and she's going to be safe. I'm not, I'm not even going to test it. Not even gonna, Why is Claire going... I am so glad I'm not a baseball manager, because man, if, if this is real life, I would be screaming at the top of my lungs at these kids. This is just... This is horrifying. Rose Flugel now. Right to Claire. Please end this. Thank God. What a horrible, horrible first inning. And that is foul. Star Moon Beam gets that easily. That one was worth going for. Can Cameron Haynes? No. Well, Luann gets that. No. I was going to say, well, there's an error. I was going to say, if Luann picked that up, Cameron had a chance to get there with his speed. Sammy Sosa gets it, throws it too hard. We've got a man on base. What do you think? Should that count as a hit? I think that probably goes for more of an error, but solid, solid uh, job getting on base for Cameron Haynes. Maybe that one was worth going for. Oh my gosh. We've got our first steal of the season. Cameron Haynes. Let's go, baby. I knew we'd get one eventually. Let's go. Only one out and a man on second. She does run out of energy pretty fast. That's a good strike right there, but we'll take that. Dana, she could hit one over the low fence and tie this up right away. Oh, a little low. I don't know why I went for that. I broke my own rule. You see what happens when you break your own rules, but uh, worth going for, I suppose. All right, we got a man on base and we got a steal. That is already a massive improvement on offense, considering how we've been performing the past two games. I'm definitely thinking we remove Claire after this inning, and if she allows one more run, uh, we will definitely take her out. I don't know, man, man, things just seem more balanced when Thor is pitching.
All right, Claire, nice knowing you. You're very lucky there aren't trades in this game. I'll just say that. You know, I, I wanted to give Claire a chance, but no, it's just, it's over, hun. I'm sorry, hun. It's over. Get back in center field. Thor comes in, instantly gets a strikeout on three pitches. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's our Randy Johnson. He, we can't take him off the mound. We, we just can't. We might never be able to score runs. We might have terrible defense and allow tons of runs off errors. But you know what? We will always have... We will have four herring strikeouts. That's what we'll have, all right? At this point, we're just trying to see how many strikeouts Thor Herring can throw. That's the whole point of the season. How many strikeouts can Thor Herring throw? I might even have like a meter or like a counter on the the, uh, the screen, just counting how many strikeouts Thor can get. That's the whole point now. That's what we're all here for. Luan Louis makes some good contact. Cameron... Monsters doing monster things, huh? It's like, I am surprised by the amount of incompetence, but at the same time, I can't be, because it's like, this team was designed to be bad, so... This is supposed to happen. I'm still disappointed, but it's supposed to happen. Thor gets us out of there. Well, Thor gave up no runs. At least there's that. Oof! That was a good curveball from Luan. I whipped hard. I really can't hit curveballs sometimes. Sometimes I can get them, other times it's just, ugh. That one's worth going for. Oh my gosh! Why did that look so good coming off the bat? For some reason, I thought that Claire actually sent that one out. She's gonna reach, though. Error by Sammy Sosa, she reaches. Coming off the bat, I thought that looked like it was gonna be sent out. That's why I reacted, That's why I reacted the way. I was like, oh my gosh, because I thought, I thought Claire Nelson was gonna crank a dinger. Wow, we've got a whole two base runners? Two? What even is this team? Ooh, that was that was a good pitch. High and outside, fooled me. Three strikeouts for Luan. There's Quentin Driver. Quentin, you got any more magic left? You got another homer in you? Uh, no, that's that's not what I wanted. Star Moonbeam is gonna get that. What a great catcher Star Moonbeam is, man. Oh, Victoria. Can she make a play in the field? No. She's not a better option left field either. Well, that's a double off an error. Susan Gore, she is nerfed, but she will still make it to base. No, she won't. All right, we throw her out. They got a man on third, though. Oh, man. Thor stops that. Throw it home. Can we get two outs? So close. It was more important to stop the run coming home, though. Oof, that was an inaccurate pitch. That was not where I wanted to throw it. That is one thing about Thor. He does not have an accurate fastball. Oh, she's going for third. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Are we gonna chase her down? Are we gonna pull off a chase down with this team? No way. Oh, Cameron. We had her. Cameron. Come on, man. We definitely should have had that out. Come on, kids. All we need is a little bit more practice. Honestly, I think with just a, t a tiny bit more practice, we could be okay. And by practice, I mean not just like weekly practice. I mean taking off an entire season or two just to get things in shape. That, that, that's how much we need. We need we need like a whole year off of hardcore training. There's a strikeout by Thor to end the inning. No runs given up. Despite all that chaos, no runs given up. Ivan King gets it on the edge of the strike zone. No chance. Victoria Schamberg makes some contact. Sammy Sosa to dive on that. What a great throw. Cameron Haynes. That's not bad looking. Gonna be an out though. Three quick outs, still scoreless. Pretty wild how all of our scoring this season has come in that one game against the Yankees. I don't know what we did in that game that, you know, inspired us to actually play like a normal, competent baseball team, but something, we did something. Maybe that was like our one shot. Maybe that was like the one game where the CPU was like, here you go, here, you, you can take this win, and we blew it. Ooh, way in front of that one. Fifth strikeout on the day for Thor Herring. At this point, we're just going for records with him. I think his season high is what, eight? Let's go for nine. Let's go for 10. T 10 Ks in one game for Thor Herring. We can do it. All right, Luann Louis puts on the ground. Can we get her out? We had her. 
That was it. Error by Quentin Driver. Could have gotten her out. Ooh, and that's a high bunt by Sosa. We'll just get him out. And that's a strikeout on three pitches on Tom Glass. Six strikeouts for Thor Heron. Another zero. Wayne Pittman gets some air under this one. Oh! Luann runs into... What's her name? Oh, that's a horrible throw. Wayne's gonna get all the way to second. There we go, baby. All right, I'll take that. I'll take the air in the free base. Three base runners in one game. Ooh, Dana, let's go, baby. Okay. Okay, we're gonna send Wayne to third. Oh, we're gonna bait him. Dana. Well, should we call that a hit? We could, I think we could call that a legit hit. I think we could call that a hit. All right, four base runners in one game. We're looking all right. Ooh, okay, hold on, this is interesting. Can we get Wayne to third? That is not a good throw, but so says, we got the bases loaded with no outs. Claire, you have a great chance to redeem yourself right here. Bases loaded with no outs. Claire. Oh, that is a great hit. Claire Nelson. With the RBI. That's legit. Claire Nelson. No cheese. Just a quality single. RBI. 3-1. And still no outs. Okay. We looked like a normal functioning baseball team there. I'll take it. I will take that. That was that was excellent job. Great base running by everybody. Great job. Ooh, should I have gone for that? I don't know. If we could have put the ball into play, pulled off some base running cheese. Okay, we're going to send Dana home. Oh, this is going to be a double play, isn't it? Crap. Okay. Well, still got two men on. Crap, maybe I should have gone for that spitball, huh? Because at least maybe we could have pulled off some base running cheese, but still scoring opportunities here. That was some great pitching right there. Luann toughs it out. She allowed a run, though. Claire Nelson. A little bit of a redemption. A little bit of a redemption arc. She got an, an RBI. Solid hit. Not, not a bad job. Normally, I would be pissed about having the bases loaded with no outs and only getting one run out of it. But with this team, that's a heck of an accomplishment. I can't be mad at that at all. Ooh, Thor Herring. Seven on the day. Seven Ks. We're going for ten. There we go, another one. Two in a row. Thor Herring, eight on the day. Not a strike out there, but this should be an easy out. Just throw it right to Quinn. Out number three, another zero for Thor Herring. Ivan King puts that one on the ground. Oh, I keep on hoping that Luann's going to pick these up because she's got speed, but she does not have a good arm. Ugh. That's sometimes why I go for these because I'm really hoping we get an infield hit and we get Luann to chase after and she has a really bad throw because we could reach, especially if Luann gets tired because she'll be slower and she'll have a worse arm. That's what we got to hope for at this point. Oof. Star Moon Moon's going to get that easily. Good play from their catcher. Two outs. Oof. A little bit ahead of that one. Cameron Haynes. Showing some decent speed. Not fast enough. Close, but not quite. Way ahead of that one. Four Herring. Nine strikeouts. Season high. Man, he has turned it on. Oof. Great, great hit by Zoe Mallory. That's going to be a single. There it is. Strikeout number 10 for Thor Herring. Let's go. Dude, this kid is crazy. Man, he is just a star in the making. I am telling you. Thor Herring. This has been the most fun part of the season so far. Is we Pitching with Thor Herring. Normally, pitching is the worst part of backyard baseball. It's fun with Thor on the mound. Let me tell you. Ooh, Luan Louis gets that. We're going to throw her out, though. Another zero for Thor Herring. That is four. He has shut them down. We are down by two runs. It is a 3-1 lead. What can we do? Do we have any life left in this game? Something crazy to think about, by the way. Claire Nelson allowed all three of those runs. With Thor in the game, we've outscored them 1-0. So think about that. If Thor had shut them down for the first two innings as well, 
we'd be up 1-0. Good A-B by Wayne Pittman. Wayne has not been horrible on offense. It's just that when I had him at third base against the A's, he was just awful. I'm sorry for how much crap I talked about him. He's a good kid. He's a good kid. He's passionate about the game. Just needs to develop a little bit more on defense. He has definitely been the most consistent in terms of getting on base. By far, actually, on this team. Gotta go for that one. Good at bat. Is that gonna go over her head? Wow, great play by Tom Glass. And then actually, that he dropped that. Whomever that was playing shortstop, great play to come in and get that one. That one nearly fell in. Dana Sakula hits the infield fly. Error. Can Dana reach? That's a great throw, but she reaches. We've got a runner on. Oof. Dang. Good looking pitch. It's going to be a double play to end it. All right. Game over. We lose 3-1. But I will say, I think we learned some very valuable lessons in this game, and I'm going to go over that with y'all as soon as we look at these stats. Very interesting game. So looking at around the league, the Devil Rays coming off their win against us. They actually lose their first game. They lose to the Dodgers 3-2. So we actually had a lot of base runners today. I think only one or two of these could count as legit hits. Uh, but one of those was the Claire Nelson hit with the bases loaded that drove in a run. No cheese there. That was a legit hit. However, something must be said for four herrings pitching in this game. We started off with Claire Nelson. She only faced eight batters, allowed five base runners, and allowed three runs, including a home run. She was awful, we had to pull her right away. As soon as Thor Herring came in, he shut them down. He finished off Claire's last inning, no runs allowed. Pitched four straight innings, four full innings, no runs allowed. Remember, Claire Nelson's RBI came after we'd already subbed her out. So with Thor in the game, we put up one run and we shut them down. So with Thor Herring in the game, we actually beat the Wombats. If you ignore the part of the game where Claire pitched, we beat the Wombats 1-0. So this game should erase any doubt that I had or the viewers had that maybe we should have Thor somewhere else in the field. There's just no chance. He is our pitcher. He is the guy moving forward. There is nobody else on this team that gives us a hope of managing the game on the mound. He proved today that he is able to shut down even very skilled opponents, even in situations where we are down big. He is the guy. We literally won the game with him in there. Clara Nelson's ERA balloons to 14.4. She actually got credit for the loss today as well because she allowed all three runs that the Wombat scored, so that does not count as a loss for Thor. Cameron Haynes also got a steal, by the way. That was a cool moment, but then check this out, ladies and gentlemen. The league leader list in strikeouts, Thor Herring sits alone at the top with 36 strikeouts through five games. Next highest is Todd Xavier with 23. Thor Herring is way, way ahead of the pack. Our next opponent in our fourth straight home game is the Bombers. And they've got Dmitry Petrovic, Betty Houston at pitcher, Jay Green at shortstop, 39 out of 40 skill points, Julie Dunkel at third base, 10 batting, 10 running. Tanya Uchida at left field, 10 batting. Lindsey Felgate at center field, 10 batting, 10 running. Lorelai Akaye, 10 out of 10 batting. Bro, this team is ridiculous. Fred Benson at right field. Look how many players they have that are 10 at batting. One, two, three, four, five, six. This team has six players that are 10 at batting? Holy cow. Hold on a second. Let's check this team's stats. This is probably the best team we are going to play all season, actually. So this team is actually three and two. I would like to see the two teams that beat this team through five games. They have 15 home runs. My goodness. Lindsey Felgate with four. Julie Dunkel with three. Dmitry Petrovich is the only player on this team that has not hit a home run yet. So yeah, we are going to have our work cut out for us in this game coming up. My gosh, what a 
frightening team. We are 0 and 5, and our schedule is not getting any easier. Let me know in the comments section how many home runs you think we're going to give up in the next game. Six out of nine players on that team are 10 at batting. Yikes. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, man. <laughs>